Hey, I've been working on uh, Trashbot uh, during Christmas. Um, I was not really able to video document anything, but I took uh, many pictures during the process and I will have dedicated videos on uh, the parts of it. Um, but today it's just a quick um, tour uh, through the robot because uh, many things have changed and it's essentially a new robot because <laughs> Um, most of it is really new, um, starting with the feet. Uh, so the feet have been uh, redesigned completely. Uh, they have a new material, uh, also here uh, with a mouse pad material. They are standing flash, uh, flush on uh, uh, the floor now. Um, they have a second degree of freedom. This one uh, is the old one, but this one is new. And so he can actually uh, take a step forward like this, um, which is new um, because otherwise he was uh, only tilting like that. Uh, so while I was at it, uh, I also designed uh, new legs uh, and the shins, uh, everything made of aluminum. They contain the batteries now. Now we have two batteries. Uh, the batteries are going down. So the weight distribution is uh, better now. Um, and the batteries brought with them uh, that I had to design a new uh, power distribution uh, board. Uh, and that's uh, actually um, converging the power from here uh, and distributing it to two uh, step down converters. One is here and one is there. Um, this one is feeding the new computer uh, because I moved away from the Arduino Nano uh, to a Raspberry Pi 2. Uh, so we have significantly more computing power, uh, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, and it also means that I can now log in from Wi-Fi. Here's the Wi-Fi uh, dongle. Um, and uh, I can uh, basically write my uh, software on the Raspberry Pi uh, via remote login. Um, and the, uh, the second step down converter uh, certainly feeds into the new um, server control board here. Uh, the server control board was necessary because the Raspberry Pi is not very good at uh, I.O. Um, so it's controlling all of the servers here, um, but actually um, it doesn't have enough channels, so I probably need a second one uh, because certainly we have uh, more and more servers being controlled also here uh, with the hip. So um, the spine is actually able to uh, turn the robot now uh, in this direction as well as the known uh, this direction and uh, uh, one for Boeing. Um, uh, and then finally, certainly we also have the arms uh, with the shoulders. Uh, shoulders again, uh, two degrees of freedom, so uh, turning out um, so that you can brace basically. Uh, I hope that I will be able to get the robot back up again uh, when it's sensing that it's falling or has fallen. Uh, let's see whether that's going to work out. Um, and finally, we have uh, exchanged all the servo horns here uh, to metal uh, because he got heavier and I wanted to reduce the uh, vibrations uh, during the movement, um, which is still an ongoing process. Um, but I'm actually quite happy right now with the uh, current state. Uh, I have started to write some software to control the servos. Uh, timing issues are complicated uh, because um, Raspberry is not real-time anymore uh, and uh, I2C uh, for the servo controller is also a thing to learn. So there is uh, quite a lot of things going on in the software uh, to get him uh, back running again. Um, but we're getting close. So there is... Um, uh, now the software side. Okay, that was a quick tour for today um, and I will be back soon with more detailed uh, videos about how I did the feed or the power distribution with the Raspberry Pi um, and the arms and so on. So uh, And the missing head, of course, uh, that's going to have uh, more sensors than the previous version. So there is quite a lot of things going on and I hope that I will be uh, able to document more of that uh, very soon. 
Okay, thanks. That was it.